Sieda lived with her mother and her husband. No, no. There's a lot of worry about it. Sieda was wildly in love with her husband, who was very handsome. They had a beautiful life together in the small village of Danyabuka with their beautiful three-month-old baby, Baby Duna. You could say it was paradise there. Beautiful mountains. Everybody took care of everybody. Even the gypsies came there. When the soldiers came? The soldiers came like that to all the villages. No one could believe they were coming. No one could believe they would hurt their neighbors. People just thought they were crazy kids, crazy boys. No one was prepared. One of the boys who beat me with a stick, I breastfed him when he was an infant, when his mother was too sick. The soldiers got the people to come out of their houses. They made them all come into the square. It was very casual. Sieda was the most beautiful girl in the village. Her husband had heard of the rapes, how the soldiers were raping the young girls. So they hid Sieda in the house. They did not come into the square. The soldiers found them, though, at night. Her mother and her husband tried to stop them. But the soldiers, they just, they shot them right there, right like that, right in the head. Sieda, she was holding her baby Duna, and she saw the whole thing. And she, she just went mad. And she started running. The soldiers, they tried to stop her. They tried to catch her, but they couldn't. She was running into the night. She was running like the wind. She ran for hours without stopping. Oh, we need to stop here. It is wrong. When you're running like that, anything can happen. You can lose your way. You can lose your mind. Or you can lose your baby. You can drop your baby. See to drop Duna? She dropped little Duna? She dropped her in the night. While she was running, she dropped her along her way. Oh my god. <gasps> Sieda heard her story, and she wasn't ready. This is wrong, Melissa. J.S., you need to get a hold of yourself. Your emotions are all over the place. These women have suffered terribly, and still they're trying to trust us. Don't lecture me! Dear, we are not tape recorders. You don't get to hit and run. Sieda didn't have her terrible experience to serve your book. If people don't know Sieda's story, they'll never know what happened. This isn't about Sieda. This is about you and your need for fame. I may want recognition, but only so that my... Work can be seen in these women, their pain will be heard. And what if no one reads your book? Or reads your book and doesn't do anything, doesn't care? What will all of this have meant to you then, Melissa? To you? This isn't about me, J.S. Everything about you is about the eye. The big American self-centered eye. You make thousands of dollars sitting in a room with it, cultivating it, expanding it. What happened to you that you are so no? Oh, spare me the pretending to be caring analytical questions. Okay, all right. You are a lost little girl trying to find yourself in the middle of big scary wars. Maybe I am. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm familiar, too familiar with cruelty and violence, and maybe it came too early. So what? I think you're jealous. I think you would love to be me. I think you're suddenly aware that you've waited too long for your life to happen, and now you're lonely and old, and you don't know where to begin. Oh, I don't like you, Melissa. Come fast. Skate is hurting yourself. It's very bad.
been doomed and weeps to hear the sad sleep song I sing my love to you. I didn't mean to hurt Sieta. I didn't mean to hurt anyone. This is my job. My work. I'm here to help. I have to find a way. I have to. Hurt. Hurt. I think she needs you to hurt. Hurt? Hurt. You think I do not hurt? It's not my job to take up space here with my hurt. Well, at least we don't have to pretend there's a baby anymore.